All right guys, today we're making a little jig for your bandsaw. This is a template cutting jig and it's really slick. It'll help you cut very close to your pattern when doing template work. Stick around, we'll show you how to make this jig and demonstrate it on the bandsaw. So I wanted to come up with a template jig for my bandsaw that would let me cut very, very close to the line when I was doing pattern work with the bandsaw and then finishing up with a secondary step, flush trimming at the router table. And of course you can do that freehand, but sometimes you're not always as close to your line as you'd like, or you're not perfectly consistent. And what this jig will allow us to do is make cuts just a sixteenth of an inch away from your line on that workpiece for really smooth, consistent cuts once you do head to the router table. Past versions of this jig I've seen actually clamp in the miter track of the bandsaw. And as such, you have to work between the blade and the frame of the saw. I wanted something different. I wanted something that clamped to the fence of the bandsaw so I could make my cuts on the open side of the saw, on the outboard side of that blade for easiest access. And to do that, we needed something that clamped right to the fence. This is a custom T-Track fence, but you don't need anything fancy for this. You can actually use the stock high-low fence that may have come with your saw and just clamp this jig in place. To make the jig, we'll use half inch MDF, and we'll need one piece that's seven inches long by five inches wide, and another piece that's nine inches long by three inches wide. We'll trim those at the crosscut sled and then mark the tapered shape along the horizontal piece. You wanna leave about one inch of width near the blade, and then we'll nibble away the waist to allow space for the blade. I made a notch that was a half inch wide to accommodate quarter, three eighths, or half inch bandsaw blades. For cutting plastic laminate at the table saw, you can put the high-low fence in the low position and add a little T-track stop block to keep the edge from lifting up. Then it's just a matter of using contact cement to secure the plastic laminate to the half inch MDF. And finally, we'll go ahead and trim off the excess laminate with a quarter inch spiral downcut bit. probably several good ways to attach the two components of the jig together, but I decided to use a 3 8 inch spiral bit to make a little mortise, and then a matching tenon with a dado blade at the table saw. And once those parts fit together, we'll go ahead and check the fit, and once you're ready, we'll glue those parts together and let it dry for a few hours. That forms a nice solid connection that you can count on when you use the jig. Now we had to make a template because we're doing pattern routing and one thing I noticed is that this jig when it's in place actually acts like a blade guard. I was much more confident using the bandsaw with that in place so it might be an unintended use but a side benefit there. Go ahead and adhere the template to your workpiece with a woodworking double sided carpet tape and mount the jig to your fence. From there just adjust the fence and the jig for the amount of reveal you want between your pattern and your workpiece and maintain light pressure between the two as you go ahead and make those cuts. You'll notice that it follows curves almost automatically and maintains a really consistent amount of material that's left to remove later at the router table. Now if your bandsaw fence has a T-Track slot, that makes an easy way to mount this jig, but if yours doesn't, you can also just use small F-style clamps to mount the jig. 
All right, guys, there it is. A nice little jig that you can make for your bandsaw, especially if you like to do a lot of template work. We use a spectrum red color from Formica for this plastic laminate. Gives you a kind of a high visibility color next to the blade. I think that's a good idea. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.